Okay, Alan Rose joining us now, and uh, we have a nice Father's Day weekend on tap, don't we? We do, some great weather. Before we get to that, I want to talk a little bit about my vacation. That's so right. Yeah. I've been in Europe for about 12 days, just got back on Tuesday, came straight to work. And CJ, what was great is part of the experience that we got to do, I went with my best friend Solomon Dungu. He invited me to go along. He won this double date with Tom Daly and his partner, and Tom Daly's the reigning Olympic bronze medalist on platform. Well, why this was so cool for me... You were a diver. I was a diver. I go right. college. So I get to the London Olympic Aquatic Center, and the coaches and Tom invite me into the pool to dive with them. Now, I hadn't been on a platform in 14 years, <laughs> so it's pretty interesting, but take a look. We're basically doing some lineup work. I'm in the fort or the background. Tom's closest to us in the Speedo. So that's nice. something we call just a front lineup. We're working on entry, and that's from the 5 meter, about 15 feet. This is from the 7 meter, about 25 feet up. Again, I'm farthest away hit the water a little after him. Nice. And then now we're doing more of like a front dive, so we're actually jumping off the platform here. Again, he's closest to us. Nice. And then at the end, we conclude with a little jump off 10 meter. Now, I only That's did about five ways, dives. It, it was yeah. 33 feet up, and you know, there we go. A lot of fun. I wish I had done a dive. I really wanted to do a dive, but you know, we're end of a long day, just a... Uh, I could have sworn that was Greg Louganis. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so much it. like Greg Lugans. Well, I'll take it as a compliment. Sure. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> All right, but back to the weather. So, <laughs> yeah, we are expecting to see some very warm temperatures through the weekend. It's still pretty warm out there tonight. Uh, take a look at Paso Robles. Still in the 70s at this point. Uh, also seeing some 70s in Koyama. Ojai now back into the upper 60s. And Santa Barbara checking in at 64. Unfortunately, that Gaviota weather station uh, not showing a number, so it's not transmitting data, but they were 88 at the 10 o'clock hour, the winds were still howling. That winds are weakening a little bit according to the latest surface observation. Still though tonight, again, we are under a wind advisory across the south coast, also the mountains of Santa Barbara County. Uh, wind gusts have been between 40 to 45 miles an hour. And you'll see right here, this advisory does remain in effect until 3 a.m. tomorrow. So we get a little break from the winds early in the morning, but they are expected to pick back up again tomorrow afternoon, Sunday as well. The winds, the hot and dry weather all contributing to some elevated fire danger across the entire forecast area. Now, the biggest threat lies across the inland areas, the mountains as well. There are no red flag warnings in effect, no fire weather watches, but just something I want to bring your attention to if you are doing some camping or backpacking in the backcountry, just keep that in mind as you're out and about. If you're closer to the coastline, one of my favorite days and weekends in Santa Barbara, it is summer solstice, and temperature is going to be nice and warm for an 8 85 tomorrow as the parade marches down State Street, 82 on Sunday, and of course Sunday being Father's Day celebrating uh, my number one guy, my daddy's back in Florida. Sandy Inez Valley forecast calls for highs into the upper 80s. So some warm temperatures through the weekend. Again, it's going to be hottest in the valleys as we pretty much see just that marine layer for coastal zones. And Fog Tracker really not that enthusiastic about it, just showing some patchy fog maybe around Santa Barbara early tomorrow morning. Also for the Oxnard Plain. Most of it, though, I think is going to stay north of Santa Barbara and generally for the nighttime and the morning hours. So your Saturday forecast by the numbers, a mix of upper 70s to middle 80s for the south coast. A little bit of fog possible in the morning hours, otherwise sunny and warm. 90 in Sandy Inez and Builton, 74 in Santa Maria. We'll see 78 in San Luis Obispo, 102 in Paso Robles. The heat is on there, 100 in Ojai, and 77 in Ventura. Santa Barbara seven-day forecast, Father's Day down to 82. Low 80s hanging on through about Tuesday, and then some more comfortable upper 70s by the middle of the week. Uh, then Ventura seven-day forecast, some beautiful beach weather here. A little gray in the morning, but nice and blue through the afternoon. San Inez Valley, again, away from the coastline. This is where the heat really intensifies. You get that warm sunshine. It's going to push highs into the 90s. And in Paso, triple digits. So hopefully for Father's Day, maybe instead of a tie this year, you're getting some swim trucks. CJ.